have a bloody hell of a year. My name is Nathan Craig and together with Rob Lezifty Bain and our guest this week, uh, Ryan Condon. Welcome to Win The Drops. We are a Zwift-centric podcast uh, every week uh, where we discuss uh, the world of indoor cycling, racing strategies, hints and tips for both new and expert riders alike. So in this week's show, uh, I'm going to cover off on my, or the FRR, the final update. Rob laps up April's uh, Z Racing Series and uh, you know covers off what you need to know to win. On screen there is our special guest, uh, Ryan Condon. Uh, yeah, so it's time to get out of the saddle and in the drops. Hey, hey, Rob, welcome. How are you this week? Loads of racing this week. Well, actually, it's been two weeks since we uh, last did a show, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've been doing tons it's of racing, cool. did loads of the epic races, loads of the Champs-Élysées. Got in there, uh, I desperately wanted to win in Paris. I mean, who doesn't want to win in Paris? I was in a race this week with someone. And they were like, oh, bought, oh, Paris, going round five times, bought three times, boring. <laughs> like, what? New move, new move, have you ever acknowledged in my nickname? Le Zwifty, which is yes. going long yes. from the top of the, uh, from the lac de triomphe. You, I suppose <laughs> you pioneered it in a way, didn't you? In the FRR. Unintentionally. But certainly you were there, so yeah. you know, they're still kind of yours. I mean, you sort of own that. And yeah, we've got one of my favourite ever guests, Ryan Condon. How you doing, Hi, man? guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, second time on the show. I'm very pleased to be yeah. here. How have you been? Yeah, I've been I've been really well. Thank you very much. It's um, it's a good day for me. It's, it's double video Friday, so I thought I'd get a plug in there. Um, so I put two videos up today for the first time. Um, and I'm on In The Drops podcast. So, yeah, it can't be a bad day. No, it's Internet sensation. That's it. Yeah, I've got the hat trick. Your voice is quite loud, actually. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just I think it's because you're, 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 you're leaning into your mic, you see. Well, uh, only, only because I'm also, we've got a whole bunch of people in the uh, stream, and uh, Marky Marks just said, mine, mine, I'm very quiet. You're just... coming through loud and clear at my end. So uh, it's all good. It's just your personality, Nathan. It's just your personality. Is it too much or not enough? <laughs> it's never too much. <laughs> oh, the right answer. You're coming back here again. No, it's been fantastic. I've been watching a few, a few, a few of your videos, Ryan, um, Ryan, and we're going to talk a bit more about some of the things you've been up to um, a bit in the show. But first, I wanted to um, acknowledge uh, Jonathan Huber, who's uh, one of um, Rob's uh, sort of teammates, I guess, over on the, the Zwifty Discord channel. Um, and... Uh... I can't remember if he fished these in, but he's in my Discord channel, certainly. Yeah. Um, and he uh, did a, a virtual Everest. Oh, amazing. That, which is which is yeah. unbelievably fantastic. So and I've actually got yeah. um, the, the video here that he took, which was um, handed to me by one of the... I'll just dial that video, that sound down a little bit. Handed to me by one of um, the other Discord uh, members. I think it might be Marky Mark, who's actually in the... Marky Mark, who's actually in the stream at the moment. And uh, so for those that don't know what a virtual Everest is, it's basically riding the, well, climbing the height of Mount Everest on one segment. So it has to be one segment you've got to repeat over and over and over again. Yeah, so you've got 8,848 meters, or I think it's about 29,000 feet or thereabout. So yeah, that's a so huge achievement. That's it a is. huge achievement. Everything, everything on um, on Zwift, especially as well, because you haven't even got the scenery to, you know, enjoy. You're you're just yeah. in in the zone, and as soon as the novelty wears off, which is probably halfway up attempt one, yeah, um, you've got you've got you know how many more? Eight more to go. Well, in this in this particular case, it's eight. Yes, that's right. I think the one good thing about the 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 virtual one is that on the descent, you can kind of just stop. Yeah, you can get off and change your change your bibs and stuff, can't you? He is a bit of a Everestin, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, sort of endurance endurance monster. Yeah, it's, it's one of those events which which I've looked at. I've done quite a few um, endurance events, and yep. you know, on in in real life and on Zwift, nowhere near as mental as this. And it's one of those things that I've had people mention to me, and I just look at it and think, I don't think I could actually do it. Um, there's not many things that I look at and think I can't, I, I don't think I could do that, mm. but, um, but yeah, Everest, Ev Everesting up on Alpe de Zwift, eight point, what is it? Eight and just under eight and a half times. Unbelievable. So yeah, kudos, kudos yeah. to, yeah, to him for doing effort. that. And so that's something you've never decided, you haven't decided to, um, to try and do, Ryan? Uh, it, it, it's, it's on there as being something I'd love to attempt. I really would. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's just for me. It's it's the how can I put it without 
without being crude. It's, it's you still start sprinting. It hurts. It's still start you know. Know. You're yeah. be like, right, I've got to go for it. It's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean about the novelty. Halfway up, first attempt, and I've I've burnt all my matches. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, as my as I always do in all my attempts. But um, but yeah, no, it's it, it would be my backside. I think would wouldn't would thank me it. if. Yeah, I'm still, you know, I'm really heavy. And the thing is that when I do, when I did the Four Horsemen, um, which is nowhere near as tough as as this gig, you know, I'm not trying to compare it. But no, when no, I did yep. the Four Horsemen, I was broken. <laughs> and, you, and you're in the you're in that one position for like you know, eighteen hours, sixteen hours, however long it takes. You just sort of hunched yeah. over on that one position, and it's really tough on the body and the back and the shoulders too. So it's surprisingly yeah. difficult. Whereas, you know, running around, you kind of get to stretch and moving around, that type of thing. But uh, people that Zwift and people that run, if you just Zwift, people don't really appreciate that when you run, you can change muscles. So yeah. if you have something yeah. that's starting to hurt, yeah. you can slow down, you can speed up, you can change your, your angle. Not not a huge amount, but you can do enough that it alleviates it for a brief second. Mm -hmm. On the bike, there's nothing, mm -hmm. you know, you're cycling. Yeah, um, yeah you can stand, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. once you once you are, you know, you're on attempt three or four of <laughs> of out to Zwift, you know, getting out the saddle isn't really an option anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, well, I, yeah. I think some people do it. You know, just yeah. so, I mean, as much as anything to relieve the pressure on your back. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, fantastic effort. So, uh, Jonathan, thanks for joining us there, and uh, yeah, well done. Congratulations on that one. Well done. Going to watch the eclipse this weekend as well, Jonathan. Is it not very? north america eclipse and he's off to watch that oh okay zwift's april fool's day joke so i don't know did you guys um... well, no i love swift you yep. know i love swift you I'm love very it. positive about everything very they positive do about them yes that's right i don't really <laughs> like unnecessary criticism but it was stupid <laughs> it's rubbish it's stupid i hated it <laughs> it was rubbish wasn't it it was just the it was rubbish and not only was it rubbish um but how's this it uh, then broke zwift on max so anyone who was using a Mac who runs Zwift, uh, and if it had the Intel processor, it broke that. So I spent about two hours no having way. an angry wife hovering over me saying, why isn't it working on my Mac? This completely right. passed me by. So you're going to need to explain this to me. So what happened? So with um, you would have seen the, the VR goggles. So every year, April, April Fool's, Zwift bring in some sort of little gaggy kind of thing. Right. And in this particular one, they bought in VR goggles. VR goggles. I'm assuming... So everyone had VR goggles on, all yeah. your competitors at least. So yeah. I was just like, oh, that's why has everyone got them on? That's yeah. weird. I thought it was April Fool's Day, but even then I was like, what? It kind of was. Well, I think it's also a, a throwback to um, Apple's uh, VR goggles that they've been launching. And when they introduced that, uh, it then broke. Zwift. So when if you're on a Mac <laughs> and then you wanted to try, wanted to try and just do a free ride or some sort of ride, uh, as soon as you launched into the ride, um, you could get into your, your into your profile and and see your garage and all that kind of stuff. But as soon as you went into a ride, it would just crash out. Oh my and God. so I had about um, 50, 60 notifications of different um, people all all sort of uh, you know adding in on my support forum message and uh, kicking so, off. Yeah. Yeah. So but uh, Zwift turned around and said, Oh look, you know we're we're going to fix it. And they fixed it. Um, basically, they just waited for the clock to run out because it was a bit of a time bomb. And <laughs> once April Fool's Day was over, then it's they went back to working okay. So, yeah. Thanks, Swift. No, great Looking, joke. Yeah. Really All the joke, yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, our crap joke has broken the game. Yeah. Let's <laughs> get rid of the crap joke, maybe. Um, update. So, update uh, 1.62 came out as well this week. So, I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, they've got a couple of different things on in there. They've got confetti socks. So when you reach uh, level 100, uh, you did get a kit. Uh, you could um, you get your uh, your level 100 unlock kit, and um, but now you also get confetti socks. So apparently, when you as a level 100 rider, if you give a ride on, um, there's a bit of a confetti thing goes off, and you 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 give you know uh, XP. You actually give XP as well to other riders who you give the ride on to. So they've also introduced virtual gear shifting. Uh, so a sound effects. So every time you now click your virtual gears uh, on your Zwift plays or on the clicker, um, you hear a faint little click. And they've also introduced an extra four hundred thousand XP you need to get to level one hundred. So it's a little. It's a bit complicated, and I won't go into it, but. 
if you're on level 98 and you you know you you're about to tick over to 99 uh you would have you were you would have only needed a small amount of xp now you need an extra 400,000 xp to get to level 100 yeah anyone in the chat that's yeah. level 100 yet let me know cuz bad luck <laughs> Or level 99, because <laughs> you're going to have to wait a lot longer to get to level 100. Apparently, there were too many people getting level 100 quite quickly. Um, and so they had to sort of dial it back a little bit. So, What's the benefit uh, of being level 100 that makes it um, a huge unlock now? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. Other than that not many people are there yet. So oh, okay. yeah. There's no, no loot boxes I understand or some people want to use it as like motivation to, yeah. you know. Motivate that, yeah. I want to do the next level, the next level, yeah. wherever. Yeah. But the amount of bloody whinging about it, man alive. Yeah. Like, when loads of people whinged when they changed it so that it was faster, but there was more levels. And then yeah. now, even more people are whinging that they've made it slower. They're like, oh my God, oh, just shut up, you whingy <laughs> cyclist. Oh, man. <laughs> Just anything. Like, well, I don't it, like it. And, it, and it's probably from people like that aren't slower. anywhere near a hundred. They're, they're, they're probably on, you know, like me on thirty. Oh, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah. What are you, Rob? What, what do you want? There's a mechanism for leveling up. It's either faster or slower. What does it matter? I don't yeah. care. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. What difference does it make? Yeah, it's, but you're focused on racing, though. That level leveling up doesn't mean much to you. Other people, you know, it, it means a lot to them. That's what that's what they gauge their progress on. What does Sorry? it matter if it's faster or slower? Yeah. What does it matter if it's faster or slower? Yeah, you are, but uh, people want to see that achievement, I guess. That's also the reason why they introduced the um, the streak window, which they've dialed that back too, because that was just causing too much of an issue as well. So you now got that streak. I don't know, uh, Ryan, if you've seen that. Where, yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. Isn't, it, isn't it really overpowered? How do you mean? In the sense that you can, if you, well, if you keep the streak going, you get more yes. and more and more, and, and it, it, it makes you get to the higher levels quicker. That's correct, and that's one of the things, and they've actually dialed that back too. And I didn't realize this was a thing, yeah. but if the first two rides of each week streak that you're continuing, you got extra XP, and now they've dialed that back to only the first ride. Confetti socks, isn't it that they they give the confetti to other people or something yes. like that, rather yeah. than yourself? Yeah. I would have thought it had been so much nicer. So How cool would it have been if you had well, the confetti socks, but like the fire socks? So when you hit certain power... You just had confetti coming out of your your back or something. <laughs> I think that would have been way better. Now, in other news, uh, we've also got um, FRR coming up. Now, FRR Ventop Climbers on the 18th of May. Okay, so there it is there. So uh, you can join into that. It's a, a 24-hour Ventop Challenge, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to be doing it. Rob, are you going to be giving us a hand with Ventop? Uh, no, sorry. I am at a wedding <laughs> that weekend. Now, on top of that uh, Ventop Challenge, uh andrew hutto hudson who um has access to a pretty awesome 3d printer has agreed to uh to print out and we're going to give a um a bit of an award to someone doing the ventop challenge um, they've even got it ready for you rob look they've even put your name on it <laughs> <laughs> and, and the time that's the time you've got to do it in. yeah one minute 36 that's really hard <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll go with an hour <laughs> um, I think an hour so, is thirty five. This is about what I'd aim for. I think that yeah. is about is it? Yeah. Probably? Yeah, it's no, about that. Yeah. That. Yeah. I think you I did it an hour forty one, so you could probably do it an hour thirty five. How That's did you go with your good. your last Ben Top ride, Brian? Uh, that's a good question. I can't remember. Um <laughs> it, it was it was hard. It took a long time. Yeah, it was I, awesome. I, I conveniently can't remember. It was <laughs> around uh I can't yeah, I I I it feels so long ago now. I've moved on. You danced yeah. your way up there. Yeah, I did. I did. I, had a really, awesome I really video. enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Strangely, I, I like climbing. Yeah. I don't know why. As a heavy bloke, 98 kg, I enjoy climbing. Yeah. yeah. I just want to ask you, it, your, your music, it looked like you had the Happy Mondays on. I'm sure you were doing a bez, but the, the music did. didn't match. I wasn't sure if that was copyright or whether yeah, you Yeah, were... I had loads of copyright. I had a Spotify <laughs> playlist, just happy music to get myself up to the top, anything just to make me move. It's a, diffi it's a difficult climb in the sense that it's sort of well it's so mundane the climb like you got up to swift which has a whole bunch of different things and just got the, the turns well, let's, not do that again. let's not do the turns versus the uh, top again We've yeah i was so many, you know, i disagree with that. Said that i think yeah i think it, i i I'm, i actually made the point in my video of saying that i expected it to be really boring because that's what everyone says and it yeah. wasn't i i thought it was as as fun as fun as it can be flipping yeah 
grinding for God knows how long. But um, I thought it was as fun as Alpha Swift. I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Which is why I did it twice, because the first time <laughs> I did it was um, I was rubbish. So I thought I need to beat that. Okay. And you did? I, yeah, I did. Yeah, I smashed it oh, the second well time. Done. Oh, that's the, awesome. The day after as well, the day after, which then made me think, because this is my OCD mindset, I then yep. immediately thought, well, if I've done it the day after, I've obviously lost power because I'm tired. Yep. What if I did it again a week from now after I've recovered? This is me doing the the, uh, the Birdman dance, the RT's, <laughs> RT's tip. I'm going to give a shout out to RT. I'm not sure if he's in the chat, but uh, yeah, he gave me a uh, tip on, on how to breathe. Right, okay. When did you last do it, Rob? I've never done it. Well, I have only I've only done it in real life. I've done it. Yeah. I, yeah. I nearly did it. I, I think I nearly did it in a race. I thought I was doing it. I did almost all of it, but I, I was in a race on it, and then somehow it didn't get the badge because I don't know. Is it Lorraine or something like yeah. that where you nearly complete it? But the well, I don't know, does, it to, does it only go to Charlie Renard? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. I see. Uh, yeah. So I didn't. I haven't. I haven't completed on Swift. I've just done it in real life, which is a bit yeah. weird. No, oh, well, that's even better. You're doing it in real life. He's, yeah, yeah. I did it. I oh. did it on my holiday in this summer. Yeah. Oh wow! And you got some great pics of it as well. I think. Well, I can take a picture of myself. <laughs> <laughs> right. I haven't, I haven't got Ryan's skill of the. It's, uh, what you it's very it, skeptical as to whether you actually did it. Now I know you did it. It was. Uh, it was a good good effort. <laughs> don't don't call him out on cheating. Wow. He's had enough of that <laughs> this week. Shit. Don't start oh, him off. Really. You, you'll get some angry messages, one-handed messages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you lose your next race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manly yeah. tapping away at the keyboard. He'll drag everyone in the field up to you if you do that. <laughs> Everyone's going to beat you now. Um, oh, should we talk about that? Should we talk about my cheat? I think we should. Yeah, look, yeah, quickly. Let's cover it off. What happened? Uh, yeah, Take so I was, doing the, uh, I was doing the Greatest London Flat this week, yep. and the, it was down to like 1B and 6As. Oh, sorry, one of the B and 6As after the first go through the park. The other B who was left, he started saying that was a sticky water. Yeah. And okay. I was like, oh, really? Yeah, like, come on the show. And, it, uh, and he, I think he accepted. I think he said he was going to come on the show and talk about it. But he has, he's, he's, Uncontactable, right? Okay, um, so, unsurprisingly, yeah, of course he never. Of course, he yeah. Never. And then another A who was struggling a bit. He was like, "Yeah, this guy's got constant. Yeah, he's got constant watts. <laughs> yeah, like, what cruising around a constant watts? Like two completely the opposite uh, <laughs> you know, accusations." And uh, I think the yeah, best yeah, bit, the best bit that came up then after you had one guy accusing you of sticky watts and the other yeah. guy accusing you of, of you know. Constant. constant watts which you know again is the opposite but you immediately went anyone else anyone else has anything else they want to add <laughs> have i got an electric bike <laughs> yeah so the so the b he went for it out of the escalator on the so we might he might i nearly dropped him again and then uh he went for it on the escalator and i think knackered himself yeah. and then rage quit before the finish yeah, so he, he was did, gone yeah. And then the A who would accuse me, he made a go for it about 1.5k out on the mile, and he got a good gap. He like got you know he got 400 meters, and all the others were you know there was about six of us all being a bit cagey. And I was like, oh, I've won my race. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I, you know, I've won the B race. I'll just chase after him. So I used my arrow. <laughs> Like way early to chase after this guy who would accuse me of cheating just to spoil his race. <laughs> yeah. came, he dragged came, everyone up to and him. I, yeah, dragged everyone up to him and I beat him as well. <laughs> yeah. It was a yeah. very dramatic video, which yeah. um which is what Zwift gives you. That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's um it's always good. And it's always good to see Rob just getting in there and fighting tooth and nail for this kind of stuff. It's yeah, yeah. I'm not, I pe people say, Oh, just forget about it. Like, no, no, yeah. I'm not gonna No, it. yeah. And you shouldn't either. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, you wouldn't let it go in real life. If someone called you a cheater, race, no. you wouldn't just go. Well, I'll exactly. carry on racing. That's, that is a skill. That is a skill that I need to. I need to learn. I need to learn how to stay in the draft, maintain yeah. not constant watts. I don't want to say that, but maintain high wattage and send yeah. angry messages one handed. <laughs> that is a skill that and I have talk. not mastered. And talk. And talk. I've had a and lot of practice. Like, I've had a lot of practice. And, and answer, an answer everyone in the chat. Yeah, and vape at the same time. And vape. <laughs> There's a lot going yeah. on there, isn't it, Rob? Also, uh, Rob, did I? Did you the one? Were you the one that told me about um, Zwift is no longer renewing kids' free Zwift subscriptions? That was the talk on the forum from yeah. someone from Zwift HQ. So I assume it's true. Yeah, but I could be wrong. 
a bit of a shame, actually. That was, uh, I think, that was a really good feature yeah. of Zwift. It's a bit weird to give give free stuff away, isn't it? Like kids don't eat free at restaurants, right? Like that. It's like, why why are they giving it free? I, I never understood why they were giving it free. I was completely shocked when they were. But yep, it's nice I suppose, that they did it. I mean, but... if I was to, if I was to guess, it would probably be a quite a clever business move in the sense that if you get them in at yeah. a younger age, they're more likely maybe, than yeah. to be subscribers when they turn. Yeah. You know, yeah, maybe to, to a pain. Age. It's the the same but... drug dealer mentality. Get them hooked young. <laughs> And I'll stay with you forever. <laughs> Cigarette companies know that trick. And interestingly, um, uh, Sharon's uh, oldest daughter has um, expressed a little bit of interest in uh, doing some cycling. And I've got my old trainer there, so we're going to hook her up. And then I found out about this. I went, oh, crap. So there's another subscription we've got to pay for. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky to have that. I know you want to move on, but you're lucky. I've got two teenage daughters who mm. absolutely refuse to even set foot on the bike. So no the fact no that interest you, at all? No interest at all. They, they, oh. my, my youngest had one go. Yep. I think middle of last year, she almost died on the volcano com and refused <laughs> to get back on the bike. So, so you, you, <laughs> you send her up the volcano I com. Sent, I sent her up the volcano in a race as well, in a Cat D race. She wasn't even on a workout. So I'm um, oh. my own fault, really. But. Yeah, okay. So you've really just... <laughs> and then my uh, oldest had a, had a look at it and went, what, what did you do that for? What did you expect? It's dad. So, it's just sort yeah. of you know, hands up, started backing away. You know, oh, stuff that. So, yeah, oh, they refuse. I, I ruined it. I ruined it. So, yes, oh. start off easy, I suggest. Well, yeah, maybe maybe coax them back on with a, an easy ride, maybe just like a TTT or something like that. Yeah, I'll bribe <laughs> them back on. I'll bribe them with an iPhone 14 or something. <laughs> have they have they shown any interest in sort of um, doing any outdoor work, any marathon work that you know, you've been blazing the trail on? I'd, do you know what? I'd love to say yes. Um, I, 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 I hold out hope that one day they'll wake up and go, Dad, can I run a marathon with you? Yeah. I'd love nothing more. Um, if they even put one percent of the effort I put into some training, they yeah. would blow me out the water. They, yeah. you know, their natural fitness, fitness at their age is, you know, something I'm very uh, jealous of. But yeah, um, but yeah no, uh, park runs are the best I get out of them at the moment. But they're at that funny age where they don't really want to do what Dad's doing. They've got their own stuff. It's a bit, you know, cringy. He's a YouTuber. He makes YouTube yeah. videos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but they're watching now. I know they're watching. Oh, good. So, um, but yeah, it's, um, well, yeah. Make sure they Hello. hit, hit the Hi. like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Now, I want to get into uh, to talking about Ryan, but I did make uh, a really cool intro. So I'm going to play that first. And then, oh, Ryan, yeah. we're going to come back and um, we're going to uh, talk to you, buddy. My first win on Zwift. Right on, mate. I'd won. I planned to run up a big old mountain. I have signed up to the fan dance in July. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hey. hey Ryan, thanks for joining us. <laughs> that was a really good intro. Can I borrow that? That oh, was yeah, the that latest. Was that was the best in a long line of crackers. That was beauty. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, I, that you. was really good. Oh, cool. Yeah. I am getting better at it. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah. So, mate, how has it been? You've you've been on this uh, the Zwifting thing now for what a good. 10, 11 months now? You're not far off. It, it would have been uh, on the, I think the 5th of May will be a, a whole year. So, um, well, that was the day I had my Watt bike delivered. Yep. Um, which yep. obviously, it took me a few days to get it unboxed and get it set up, it set which up, is, yeah. you know, one of my videos. But yeah, a year almost. Yeah. Unbelievable. And what's that been like? From that from that first moment of jumping on the bike and, I, and, and, and doing the trial of Zwift, because I remember seeing the video there where you you'd almost run out of your trial there through to now what's that journey been like uh it's been oh, it's been emotional to quote vinnie jones um yeah. it's been um uh, it's been unusual in the sense that I, when i first got the bike right and i said this in the video the only reason i got the bike wasn't to do zwift wasn't to become a cyclist wasn't to get better at cycling mm. i went to the gym because i fell for the same trap that almost all f people that want to get fit do yep. and that's that you think you have to go into a gym and be a member of a gym which is why there are so many unused memberships in this country and uh and in the gym because of all the weight machines and everyone being you know meatheads in a gym yep. using all the all the weights etc the only things that were available all the time were <laughs> the rowing machines the and bikes. the and the watt bikes there was yeah. a watt bike in the corner and, and I spent pretty much all the time in, in the gym. I went there quite often, pretty much every day. And I was I only ever went on the rowing machine and the watt bike. 
um, I think I must have picked up a dumbbell a few times, thought this is bloody heavy and put it back down. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, why are people doing this? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I thought, you know, I'm paying all this money. I'll just buy it. And I bought the same bike they had. They had a Watt mm. bike. And I, mm. I and I just, a friend of mine, I say a friend of mine, someone who was in a um, uh, an ultra marathon with me, yep. followed me on social media. We used to chat over WhatsApp. She also had a Watt bike and massively raved about it. So anyway, yep. cut a long story short. I took the plunge and I needed something to look at that wasn't a, a brick wall. So I signed up to Zwift and uh, I haven't looked back since. And if you'd have told me 11 months ago or 12 months ago yep. um, that you'd be on a podcast de uh, specifically made for Zwift, <laughs> you know, I would have uh, twice, you'd have been on it twice. I'd have called yeah. it crazy. So you would have you yeah. said, no, no, no way. That's not going to happen. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I yeah. wouldn't have been invited because, you know, I wouldn't oh, so have you had any like value. Massively you were well like before i got my trainer i was uh i was i knew i'd love swift i was like watching loads of videos you know really really into it before i was like so excited i knew loads about it before i even got it uh but you were a bit more you know just just something to do yeah, so I 100% was something to do. I didn't know what Zwift was. I had a friend of mine who I worked with many, many years ago, and he was big into Zwift, and we always mm. used to take the mickey. I didn't even know what Zwift was. Yeah. It was a, I, didn't, I didn't even know it was spelt with a Z. I thought it was, you know, <laughs> Swift. Um, well, and, all of Australia seems to think that as well. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we used to say <laughs> in, his, in his spare time, he'd be playing PlayStation on yeah. Zwift. Yeah. Um because uh, he you know, we used to take the Mickey out of him, it's not real cycling. Um, yeah. I'm not a cyclist, but it, yeah. it annoyed him, so we did it. Um <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, so that's how I kind of heard of it. I knew there was something out there for smart bikes that I could use. And there was other things that I remember seeing at the time. I, yeah. you know, off the top of my head, I can't remember what they were yeah. now, but I never signed up to them. It was just, you know, do I go for this one? It was a kind of eeny meeny miny mo situation, and I yeah. just picked Zwift. Yeah. You know, and um yeah, here we are. And yeah. I've loved every second. I got completely addicted to it. I mean, it is so addictive. Mm. Um, I mean, how Zwift haven't signed me up to sell their product? <laughs> you know, I, I could talk about it all day. It's got so many benefits. Yeah. I mean, I know there's loads of stuff that's annoying and, you know, stuff like VR goggles <laughs> breaking your system. Right on uh, bombs. You know, yeah, right on bombs. Yeah. You know, Rob's Rob's massive list of things that piss him <laughs> off. Um, but, um, but, but there are... There are huge, you know, mental uh, well-being and physical yep. benefits to, yeah. to, to Zwift. And, you know, I, I embraced it 100%. And, it, and and also, I put it, I completely put Zwift down to the fact that I was able to, I plateaued, my weight plateaued for so long. Yep. So I lost a shed load of weight. I was 190 kg, wow. which is about 30 stone five years ago now. That's I just incredible. turned 44. Yeah. And at the age of 39, I made a change and it just fell off me. You know, I just yeah. literally stopped doing when you're when you're doing something so bad, it's really easy to make change yeah. because you just stop doing the bad thing, <laughs> you know. Um, and that's what I did. I just stopped drinking. I stopped eating crap. Um, yeah. I made my own. Anyway, I could talk about this for hours, which I yeah. won't. Um, <laughs> you know, I've made videos, but um, I I changed all that and I, yeah. and it, but then I plateaued. I reached round about, I probably say about 130, 120 kg. And yeah, I started okay. to really slow down yeah. and it wasn't enough anymore that portion control and calorie counting mm. um, was enough. So, you know, I started doing other things and Zwift was one of them. And I was able to get under recently 100 kg. So That's I am, incredible. yeah, I'm still pushing for that 100 kg loss. Yep. So when I get to 90 kg, which I'm about probably, I'll probably say I'm about six or seven kg off now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. When I get oh, to. I would have thought it would be like the half thing. I would have thought like I'm half the man I used to be kind of thing. <laughs> I, I, that's, yeah. that's the milestone I was looking for. Oh, like, to, yeah, that's, but that's, that's further 95. away. <laughs> it's not. No, 95, isn't it? Uh, if you're 190. Oh, yeah, yeah. 95. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Quick yeah, maths. Yeah. It must be yeah. nearly there. Yeah. So. No, yeah. That's, so I, it, I, and I'm just completely blown away. Like. I think um, it's all, it's well and good for us to talk about racing and you know the finer aspects of, of Zwift and, and just in health in general. But when you see someone make such a a dramatic change like that, it's it just blows my mind. Every time I, I see things like this, it just completely reinvigorates my um, sense of you know trying to push and, and get out of bed and do these things. It's just fantastic. I think it's um, you're amazing and the motivation you've given to lots of people I think is incredible. Thanks, Nathan. 
I appreciate it. Yeah, that. I've I've binge watched a, a lot a lot of your stuff this <laughs> week. It was so so good. I was just so oh, it just brings so much joy. It yeah. Really does. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate look, that. And you've got uh, such a talent for creating engaging videos too. And it's one thing to go ahead and do these things, but then to take the time to create these videos in a way that get people hooked is um, is another level again. And and you, and you can see that by the the views that you get and the subscriptions that you've got. So um, yeah, no, yeah. congratulations on that. The best um, half an hour of YouTube watching I've, I did this week was watching Ryan pack his bag. It was fascinating. <laughs> I got. I got to be honest. Anyone was, that was, was considering subscribing at that point on the back of Nathan's massive big me up, you then going and then watching Pappy's bag, they're not subscribing it was, now. Honestly, I'm not joking. It was great. So I've got. I, I put together a quick. Um, well, I want to say quick. I'll try to make it as quick as I could. I've got two videos that I put together. Your first one being the uh, well, your third technically your third race. I think it is that you when you first started out, and then. Yeah. Uh, the one of your most recent races about a, maybe a month ago where you actually you know you you sort of took pole position on zip power that's not too loud is it yeah. no that's good good for me yeah. I, I've, I've have added a couple of things i'm going to film this race on here stop me um, when you want to if you want to talk about anything so i haven't yet bought a fan well i, I was going to just add a quick caveat just yeah. to say please don't in the comments don't ruin me for the fact that i'm wearing a really big jacket on zwift <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, I, I had no idea how much you sweat on Zwift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm wearing right. I'm wearing a running jacket because when you go running in the winter, yeah, you it takes you ages to warm up. And and at this stage, you were sort of what you you're in the garage there, or you where where's yeah, your bike I'm in, positioned? I'm in I'm in my garage, um, yeah. which I've I've only moved it into my office upstairs where I am now, as you can yeah. see it here. Yeah. Um, purely because of my connection issues, I was really struggling to record yeah. them at high quality, and the more yeah. I made the more comments I was getting about being low quality. So I wanted to yeah. improve it yeah. and I took it to, yeah, I, I brought it to my, to my computer. I do like how you've, you, you took on board the fact that you needed to buy uh, a towel, um, uh, a water <laughs> bottle. You hadn't got a fan yet. So you'd gotten two I haven't got things. a fan. <laughs> no, I don't. I look I'm like I'm wearing a sweatsuit. Super <laughs> uh, oh, it's so embarrassing. So I bought myself a towel that I'm going to use to protect my bike from sweat. I'm also going to obviously use it. And That's how you use a towel. <laughs> I was able to do a um, brief warm up. This is why I learned about drafting, the benefit of drafting. I remember this race. The yep. the guy that actually ended up, I was, I, when I say beat, you know, the guy I was racing, we were both dropped from the main pack. Yep. And uh, I didn't understand how he was able to cycle faster than me. And I mm. realized it was because the lead pack had lapped us and they'd yeah. gone past us and he picked up on them. Even though he'd oh. been lapped, he <laughs> yeah. joined them, and then yeah, I couldn't could. understand how he was going so much faster than me after we both sudden. dropped. All yeah, of a sudden, you know, he's picked up, and I was like, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing! People need to know this in the video <laughs> that you can draft. <laughs> With double padding. Yeah, the double, the double padding. My FTP has gone up on the back Shorts? of the last. <laughs> it destroyed me. Completed, <laughs> the race and the social. My asking belonged to me. I think everyone goes through that. I remember one of my first long rides was like 100 Ks and I'd only just gotten to, to, to cycling outdoors. And I remember walking like a cowboy down to the pharmacy, the chemist, yeah. to get yeah. some chamois cream or something, anything to try and put on the old, you know, the bones of my butt to, just to take that pain away, that rubbing, chafing sensation. It's, a, it's such a... Yeah. Well, know, I will say... When I for the first time I used it, I didn't film it. The first time I I used the bike, yep. and I I did a a ride. I think I was on it because I'd been in the in the gym. I wasn't adverse to doing ten miles on it. Yep. Um, and uh, and it destroyed me. It, it, my backside was mm. you know annihilated. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's just, I hope no one clips this by the way and uses this. <laughs> but um. But yeah, and I, I nearly sent, I never, I, ne I nearly sent it back because I just yeah. thought I can't. Because I bought a bike, yeah, I bought a bike um, years ago when I first tried losing weight and I couldn't yeah. run. So yeah. I first, one of the first things I tried doing was I went out for a long run, well, not a long run. I went out and tried to run to the end of my road, which at the time was a long run, yeah. and I couldn't do it. And I thought, well, cycling's got to be easier, surely, than running because <laughs> I can't run. So I get, so I actually bought a bike. I bought a decathlon bike and yeah. I rode it once. And I rode 10 miles on it right. and, and I nearly died. Literally it killed me. Um, 
uh, and this was years ago. And um, and I, I know I said I haven't ridden a bike since I was eighteen, but this was the only only time. And I and I sold it immediately. I put it on Facebook Marketplace and sold it because I thought <laughs> I thought I'd good. rather yeah I'd rather run and you know collapse than ride a bike and be cut in half um, <laughs> like a cheese. It was like a cheese. Anyway, yeah. Can't catch you the downhill. Stop pedaling. Just stop pedaling. <laughs> I put everything I could stay at me. Oh, the the heat right. in the head. Oh, take that, take that. Final lap. Take the jacket All off. To do now is to complete this lap. Um, I can't catch him. Come on, Roy. <laughs> I'm dead. He didn't think to take the jacket off at any stage, though. No, I had. <laughs> and no fan. I was committed, Rob, at this point. Come on. I thought if I don't win, at least I can no. pass out and lose <laughs> half my body weight in sweat. He's sprinting. He's sprinting. <laughs> Third place win. I haven't got it. I haven't got it. I, I can't even I'm see the face. screen because of that thing that's in my face. He, he goes hey, what is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, uh, it comes with a Watt bike. You can lean on it. Around. So you can oh. use it, to, to, which I immediately got rid of. I thought it was like you had the iPad sitting on that or something. You, you can put an iPad on yeah. it, but you can also, you can also oh. use it as like a... Just to rest your elbows. Bars, yeah. Yeah. Like a tripod. Oh man, that looks devastating. And so skip forward nine months later, almost to the day. My first win on Zwift. I was actually invited. So this is yeah. with Marky Mark, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a member of Team Kaboom. And I quote, a fun and easy ride. <laughs> now, today's race is you something ride. called the Full Glaz Glaz Challenge, G-L-A-Z. Uh, it's been chosen by my new friends over the... Uh, Team Kaboom on their Discord. This is on the Innsbruck. This rim. is me talking it down because so I realised it's got the leg snapper, a, and I'm yeah. thinking <laughs> I'm not winning. I, I, I need to save to some face. Into the lead pack quickly, as I knew I couldn't keep it up. So I love this bit. So I'm talking to Mark to here, and, get... and uh, this this cracked me up. So this bit that I'm talking to Mark, yeah. he um, I'm trying I'm trying desperately to get into this lead pack because I know if I can get in the lead pack, I can use the draft, right? Yeah. Even though it's full of A's and B's and C's. Um, you know, even if I just use them for one lap or well, half a lap, yeah, um, it just it just it's, it's a boost. So I'm trying to catch them with everything I've got. Mark being very calm is just <laughs> he's just coasting along next to me, and I'm thinking I didn't realise it was him. So I'm thinking to myself, this is awesome. I'm keeping up with this B, <laughs> and he can't drop me. How good am I? And then I realised it was Mark, <laughs> and, and, and I was like, oh. how, how did you? First of all, say you're five seconds ahead, and then not recognise him. That's a bit like because confusing. because I could I saw him on my screen on on the right um, uh, because it's got the big kaboom in the brackets yeah and also his name. But th then when I was with him, I didn't look at the right of the screen. Listen, I'm tired. <laughs> right? so, Sorry, I, I genuinely thought I was beating this beat. I tried hard <laughs> for the first kilometre to try and latch onto the lead group with Mark. I was so fixated on catching that lead group that I didn't even see Mark coasting oh, to help so me run. I thought I was doing really well keeping up with this team, <laughs> and it turned out to be Mark. I'm <laughs> trying to Mark. to catch. Look, uh, I think I'm so good here. It's annoying because... <laughs> yeah. And he's I'm cruising along. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> but, yeah. He's cruising. Guys, pulling away now. I genuinely I'm thought he was racing me. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. I was literally about to say, I'm telling this B, and then I realised it's you. So I, 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 I did the like uh, inverted commas year ago, because ago. Right. Rob jumps in shortly, yeah. and uh, I didn't realise that non category enforced and category enforced, obviously, I learned that there mm. are races that are non category enforced. Yep. And you, in a non category enforced race, you can join as any category, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And uh, there were a load right, of people that had joined as deeds. So I thought at this point, if I could stick with this pack up the leg snapper, I'll just try and stay in front of you. A funny bit just in the in that video, I think we just missed it, where um, I think you commented to Mark about how this is the first time you're doing the leg snapper. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and was, Mark yeah. has this knowing chuckle, like, <laughs> welcome to the pain train. Yeah. Yeah. He was really good, Mark. Really good. Yeah. Really calm, cool and collected. So my heart rate maxes out at 180. Yep. And I'm trying to get up this. You're right on the edge, aren't you? Yeah. And that's the thing. you got to, yeah, standing up like that. For, that's a solid minute, minute and a half. Yeah. And yeah. you're pushing, yeah, 300 watts. I do like <laughs> that on the actual the leaderboard on the left-hand side, I think you did it. You had done this about two weeks ago. Maybe you hadn't realized. 
but you did it in about two and a half minutes? No, I did it. It was on the... Um, it doesn't count. Well, well, I say it doesn't count because it was part of the um, Tour de Zwift. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to build so, you up by saying that you then proceeded yeah. to do it today or in this no, race. No, it doesn't. For like no. a half the time. So like a, a, a minute 20. Not, not, not part of that brutal torture yeah. fest that, <laughs> that, was talk, that was Tour de Zwift. No way. So on, shortly man. after this, Very that Rob punchy. Rob jumps yeah. in, dro drops a, a, a bombshell, a, drops the mic, again. and then leaves. <laughs> the one where the answers yeah. are coming out now. I'm just, yeah. I'm just yeah. agreeing yeah. with Mark. Here, and, and Mark's like, have you recovered? Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you, <laughs> are you recovering at all or not? Yeah. <laughs> no, Mark. No, well, heart rate's in the 160 still. Yeah, no, no, I haven't at all. 170 to 180 is my max. So... Okay. Recovered. The thing is, you've got to realise how easy oh, this is for Mark. Oh, it's like, oh, it's unbelievable. How you doing, mate? Oh, it's me. sound pretty rough. If his voice sounds like a sexier Barry White, and it's because he's recovering <laughs> from a really bad cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the up. I just looked at Swift Power Live. You know you're leading, yeah? Am I? Your, the what? other two C's, D's aren't, aren't actually D's. Oh, my God. Yeah, because we've got four D's in front of us looking on the leaderboard. Yeah, they're... They're in the wrong category. The Drift Power Live isn't always reliable, but there's like half the Ds aren't Ds. Yeah, because this race isn't category for us for some reason, so you can just go wherever you want. Yeah, stupid. Eh? I don't know why I even allow that, really. Yeah, stuff. Gonna get DQ'd anyway. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. Thanks, man. Yeah, cheers, Rob. Thanks for that. No pressure. Uh, no pressure. Stop in. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm pretty step, sure I still I still think at this can, point right, that there was a conspiracy. Just to build you up. Oh, like, yeah, both oh, Mark and oh, Rob like are in on this. That's, that's great DS. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Here we go. This is this is an epic. This is how hard this route was. Look at this. Look, I'm three hundred and fifty. Not even three hundred and fifty. I'd imagine. This is my sprint. <laughs> it looks good though. You've got yeah. that YouTube oh. pose. Well done, yeah. mate. It's pathetic. Oh what do you think? What, what, what was your gut instinct? Which, <laughs> I, I don't think I am. I think there was too many ahead. I had one first place on Swift Power. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think everyone remembers their first race, or at the very least, their first um, uh, podium on Zerpower. Uh, I know I do, but uh, that's fantastic. I, yeah, really, I've watched that, watched those races a few times, and it's just so, it's just so great. Really good. I just, I'm not sure what the worst thing about those two videos are. The fact that I nearly killed myself in a sweatsuit in that first <laughs> race <laughs> or my 350 watt sprint at the end but whereas i looked like i was doing a thousand i think everyone's gone through that everyone who started out swifting has always started from you know the bottom and worked their way up and so everyone yeah. knows exactly what you went through and everyone's done it so yeah, it's, it's a great leveler. Zwift is a great leveler. Mm. Um, you know, it, it, I, what I like about it is if you follow the rules, um, people, you get to race against like-minded people who, Correct. yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a great software yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to come back, Ryan. Um, we'll quick, quickly cover off on FRR. And I just want to say congratulations to everyone that, um, that did participate in the, the, the tour, the world tour. Um, and for those that only did one edition or a couple of editions or completed all three one stages, um, props because it was a tough race, or um, well, tough race, tough series, and um, lots of fun. So I put together a quick highlight reel of, and I'll try and keep it really brief, but I do want to get to the end race, which is um, which was pretty special for me. So this is the the last edition, <clears throat> and so as I said, they broke up the twenty one stages into three groups. So this is the the last set. Um, now, uh, by this stage, I was sort of still sitting uh, around that 18th spot, 18th, 20th spot in GC, but I'd been creeping up the ladder on um, on the green jersey sprints. So I was really happy uh, with this Fox Hill attempt, uh, sitting with a bunch of uh, the Canadian climbers, uh, a group of ladies who were killing all the different uh, climbs. So happy to sit in with them. I was really surprised by that effort. Stage 16 was uh, a TTT, uh, or in, sorry, an individual TT. Um, and this is where uh, the competition with another rider in our category, Alan uh, Turnbull, had sort of come to the fore. And we had been going head to head in a few different races. And again, in this particular one, he, um, he did a, yeah, a better job than I did in, in uh, getting across the line first. 
but uh, again, yeah, just really happy with that, the effort and that sort of that consistent power that I was putting in. Um, and or oh, oh, because you know, that's what you want to do, you want to have sprint segments in a TT as well. So that was painful. And all the sprint segments in this particular in the Neo Kyo all nighter is um, they're all long. They're all like 300, 350 meters long. It's, but the the ITTs were actually I started to enjoy them by the end of it, but um, they are very difficult races, and there's no question that um, having to do those at this stage of the tour was was really you know, a difficult thing. And 3.2 watts per kilo for the 20 minutes, so I was you know happy to see that kind of progress. We had stage wow. 17, so Coast Crusher. Um, this is where uh, Rob came in and uh, as a DS for me and helped with the sprints. Obviously not there. Oh, there he is. He's finally getting in front. Um, so we had five, <laughs> we had five sprints that, um, we had to go through on this one. It was a flat course, which is great, but, uh, it was awesome having Rob there to help. And I think it was this race that set me up to finish second on, um, the green Jersey ladder. But, uh, oh, yeah, this is one I like. I like this one. I think. Yeah. Really long and just long and painful, just long and painful. I love how you just get your head down and go for it. I get told off that all the time. Do you? Oh, yeah. You're allowed to in sprints. (laughs) You're allowed to in sprints. Then we get to stage 21. So I skipped ahead a couple of stages. Stage 21. Um, I'm fighting to stay in second spot on the green jersey ladder. And uh, I'm going to up the volume a little bit, Rob. You tell me if it's too loud. So Rob's joined in again. (laughs) I uh, love the headband. Ball. Yes. And he's he, um, as he tells it. Secure he's it. got a matching wristband. I love it. Yeah, I've Frenchified really... myself for him. I love it. Uh, I've all Frenchified so good. myself for you. I've got the Tricolor <laughs> headband on. Good Tricolor. Uh, that's so good. I couldn't be much more French unless I had a moped and a hot mistress. <laughs> and a hot mistress. <laughs> Was you oh, eating a croissant then? So we had this was uh, right, five raps. Of... Hell, yeah. yep. Champs Elysees. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so two had Hello, left the much. front early and right, had opened up like a 20, 20 or a 30 Don't second gap yeah. oh, on wow. the rest of us. Okay. Uh, back it off. 3.8. Now, this is the sprint section coming up. This is a point sprint section. So I Starting had to, to do move, really well in this. Starting to move at the front. Keep my wheel. 3.9. 4. You got my wheel? Yep. Get ready. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow, he was pushing 900 watts here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Look at that. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was just pain. That's insane. <laughs> Um, I was a little calmer afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was, uh, it's a, it's only 150 metres long, but uh, because it's sort of uphill, it just feels like it goes forever. Yeah, yeah, that is and a that, long slog. That and hill. that banner never gets any closer. So, yeah, we, so we sort of stitched up the, the sprint as best we could. And I think I picked do? up first on that one. Yep. So happy cool. with that, but... The guy I was competing against for third, Alan Turnbull, and first, uh, Jonas, weren't racing in this race, so I couldn't know what their times were until they'd raced. So I just hoped that I'd done a, I'd put in a good effort. But then our attention turned to the group that were ahead of us. So I'm still in like third or fourth position here, even though I'm, I'm at the front of the group. Now, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And um, so we. Kept going. Uh, we're going time, down. Eleven fifty-eight. Yeah, so I mean, there's two guys oh. off the front there, and I think you see the time's like twenty-four do. seconds. I think maybe. Um, and then we realised that the A's would be coming back around. So this is the only stage in which the cats would intermix again. And um, and so we had we came up with the idea of well. We knew the A's would be coming up around us. If you can't, yep. you know, like if yeah. they catch you at the top of the hill or something, That's what is I'm it hoping. worth it? Yeah. Especially if you're we going to get dropped down. on the hill anyway, aren't you? 
Well, if we can go down with them. So uh, the idea are, here was that we'd pick up the A's at the get. top of the next climb. If we can make it to the top before the catches. That would also be really yeah. helpful. That's not yeah. helpful. Okay, and the so, first A is And then what, coast yeah. down with them the other side. Correct, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And right yeah. around again. Here come the A's. I like it. Here come the A's. So yeah. I'm pushing, 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 pushing to try and get to the top oh, before pushing, they get to pushing. me. Come on. It's all about this. Get some drafts as these guys come by. Come by, come on. You got it? Let me know if you want to drop back to the group behind. Nah. You can't talk. I love it. I love the no. fact that you can't talk. No, yeah, yeah I'm the same. That's Big If, if you were talking, I'd be like, yeah, you could push more. <laughs> Okay, sit in, rest. You need all the rest yeah. you can get. That's it, man. So did you make it? Are you winning we're with, with the A's? We're in with yeah, the A's are. now, yeah. Did yeah. Any, uh, so I'm in with the A's there. Any other D's make it into this group? No. Oh, I love that. And oh, there was man. one other D that was fighting to get into this group, but yeah, I think we dropped three, him uh, as we as we sort of come around the, near the library. Oh, did we? Yeah. <laughs> so Smitty was, okay, so was fighting to get in. He was only about six seconds behind us with another group of A's. Just couldn't make it. So I think we we scoot past the other guys in my pen, oh, my go. my category, the Japolinos, yeah. and um and they didn't realise that I was in with the A's, and so all of a sudden I think in the chat a bit later on I saw oh we didn't know you could do this, and a Stay few people draft. didn't realise that you could draft with the other categories as they forward. came around yeah. to give you a bit of an advantage. Keep on it, dude. There's so this is the hard up. part, and I knew that I was probably There's not going to be able to hang with these guys yeah. up the climb. Make it to that, you won. Come on. The motivation, Rob. I love it. Yeah. Come on, grab my wheel. It's just too long. That climb is just too long. Yeah, exactly. It could do with just being a couple of 100 metres shorter. Or a bit flatter. It were a bit flatter, yeah. Or downhill even. So I've opened up a 27-second gap to those riders that were ahead of us. By hanging on to those That's A's. mental. Oh, it's yeah. just on ahead. We can rest off. Uh, and so we get right around when we're uh, some, uh, coming up on the... Uh, some Ds. So we lap the we'll Ds lap and the Rob, D's. Su oh, Rob suggests that. that we should maybe just take a rest with these guys. I went, no, no, no. We've got to, them, yeah? we got to no, keep... No, no. Yeah, keep going. I wanted, I wanted a rest, man. You don't be on the front <laughs> for like four <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, you should see my disappointment when you say no. Keep going. Keep You're fine. This is... Get straight. This is easy for you. Oh, oh, it's easy, is it? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> You're smiling. Look at this. Anyway, so this is the last lap, and this is the finish of it. So uh, the pain's almost over. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it was a good effort. So it was a, a definitely a, a yeah. team effort there. So, and I didn't say thank you to thank you, you Rob, much. in the in the race. And I, I think I said thank you later, but I'll say thank you again because I don't You're think I could have done it without you. It was a pleasure, ah. man. I, I think you could. Yes. Great riding. Well done, guys. Yes. That was awesome. That was fun. I want to. I do want to talk quickly about um, the climbing and uh, sorry, the Spanish um, your Spanish mountain climbing with the sleeping lady. Uh, really quickly. So um, I was uh, invited on a trip um, oh, okay. with family. It was. I didn't actually go with my immediate family with my partner Tracy and the two girls. I yep. was away with um, other members of the family. Anyway, my uncle owns a villa in Spain. Cut a long story short. Uh, my auntie actually sent me as a joke uh, a link to a footpath that took me over a mountain that is called oh, the Sleeping Lady. Right. Um, and I kind of worked it all out. I well, sat because on... you wouldn't have your wife there, so it was like a yeah, joke. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, so right. I got to, I got to. I mean, she wouldn't have minded anyway. She would have been, you know, been happy for me to go out and run, run it. But I think some of the guys that I was with were on a bit of a. It was a bit of a boozy weekend. So they were up the night the night before really late. I got up at, I think I got up at half four this rock. Um, yep. to go and run it. Um, it was 22K uh, over 680 metres. So it was equivalent wow. of doing one of the Yorkshire Three Peaks, which is what I did last year. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but I loved it. But the thing was, what, what, what was really um, weird was the footpath. I, I put a lot of effort into looking for the footpath to follow <laughs> so as I didn't get lost. And I got bloody lost. I spent ages, hours researching. But well, the name of the mountain was the, is the Sleeping Lady. It's what the locals call it. It's yeah, got another... It's got... Yeah. You made Sorry, like three on. three wrong turns as well. Like you thought, oh, this is the peak. Did, yeah. And then there was like, no, that's not the peak. Oh, this is the peak. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, that's not yeah. the peak either. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there was there was about three or four uh, <laughs> false peaks, uh, which I wasn't used to because all the other 
peaks that I've run up before were well known. They're, yeah. you know, they're well yeah. marked, they're signposted. Yeah. This was, if anything, actually on hindsight, looking back on it, it was actually quite, uh, not reckless, but it was difficult for a lo solo run yeah. because I I was in a country, I'd never done it before, but it was it was so much fun. It yeah. was about 27 degrees. Yeah, it looks degrees. like it'd be hard to get an ambulance there to you, doesn't it? <laughs> it would, yeah, yeah. It was proper high, and I don't like heights um, mm. either. So it was it was a sheer drop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And I got to the end of the footpath here, and it, I was supposed to loop around, go yeah. back down the other side, but I couldn't. So I had to turn around and go back up the way I came. It looks like you're on almost like goat tracks. I mean, these when you say footpath, I mean this is like a oh, that's like a major roadway in Spain. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they. It, it, you can see that people have been up there. You can see that people have been up there. Yeah. Um, it's 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 not you know it's it's hardly Scott of the Antarctic, but yep. it was it was a really fun um, adventure. Um, and, and I saw this this yep. peak over there, and I thought yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out to it, and I immediately regretted it because if you watch me when I get there, I then hold on to a cable. I'm right oh, on the yeah. edge. I'm right on the edge, and I, I thought oh. I have to get it. <laughs> that is For Instagram. high. Instagram. It's so high. That's proper high, isn't it? Yeah. And I took a picture I holding feel onto a, a cable. watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that was fun. It was I've never I've never climbed a mountain in another country, so yeah. I wanted to tick it off as something something fun to do. It's always it's always impressive when uh, yeah, you, you get to do something like this in another country and you sort of look yeah. back on it and you think, Wow, that's just something that you know, you, you would think when, when does that opportunity come up? You don't uh, yeah, you don't yeah. get a chance to sort of do that. But more importantly though, I do want to talk about um, the fan dance. So Tell us how you got into wanting to do this. this is the fan dance, for anyone that doesn't know, is an SAS selection test. So it's a real thing. It's it's if you want if you're in the army, you are you're a military um, man or woman, and you want to join the SAS. There's a selection process, and part of the selection process is you have to run 24k with a really heavy backpack over penny uh, uh, penny fan in Wales. Mm, mm. And uh, that's why it's called the fan dance. So um, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more to it. Um, the real soldiers. It's very you know, serious. Like, you know, people have died doing it. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is, <laughs> it's a, you know, yeah, yeah. People it, it, on the letter that I received um, that gives you fair warning for what you signed up for. I mean, it's, it's an awesome letter because it's obviously been written to, for dramatic, dramatic effect. Purposes, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But it literally lists how people have died doing doing this exercise. Jesus. So you can you can do it in the winter or in the summer. There's two options. There's there's mm. several different versions of it, but the main two are winter one and summer one. Yep. I went for the summer one, and people have died of heat stroke, heat exhaustion. Wow. Um, these these were these were like professional um, uh, people, you know, military people. Yeah, yeah okay. uh, Professional soldiers is the word elite, I'm looking for. Elite military people. Elite elite military, you know, and they're going for the SAS. Now, it's not the only thing that's part of it. You know, when I've completed it, I don't get entered into the SAS. <laughs> you know, Easy go. Um, I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure there's other things involved. <laughs> um, but they've let a Wally like me sign up for it. Um, it it's done as a commercial enterprise by ex-military soldiers, yeah, ex-SAS okay. yeah. members. It's a commercial enterprise. It's not for the military. It's for Wally's like me who buy a backpack off the internet, and fill it with it a, a load of crap yeah. and give it a go. Um, but yeah, this is this video is me. I, I, I made a video where I bought a backpack off Amazon, filled it with weights that you'd get for the gym. Yeah, yeah. I filled it to 40 because you have to run with 45 pounds on your back. Wow. Um, you have to carry all your food, all your water. But I didn't yeah. have any of the stuff. Yeah, you get yeah. sent a, a packing list of all of the items yeah. that you're supposed to use to pack it with, such as a sleeping bag. You're supposed to simulate a backpack of what mm. you would need if you was on um, a military um, mm. what they call a tab, a tactical yeah. advance to battleground. Yeah. So you're supposed to carry it all with you. However, yeah. Um, I didn't have half the stuff. I still don't really. I still need to buy a load of stuff. Yeah. But I filled this cheap backpack off Amazon with weight to simulate the weight, and it destroyed my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I saw the um, um, marks on your shoulders uh, where the yeah. skin, had, skin had come off. Yeah, so so I bought this backpack because I'd watched other YouTubers who had completed the yeah. fan dance. I'd watched, I'd read a load of Reddit forums, and this backpack, amongst a couple of others, came up, and I just bit the bullet. It cost me, shall I tell you how much this backpack cost? Yeah. Yeah. Four hundred and fifty pounds. Oh my god! Including I bought a car for less than that. I, to, and do you know where it came from, Nathan? Do you know where yeah. that backpack came from? It came from Australia. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> so almost a thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. So it, it, it um it's um it cost me sixty pounds in um in delivery costs. I'm just getting across and... there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, so, are you, um, do you think you'll ever use it again after this? Oh, 100%. It's such a good backpack. I'm going to wear it to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> For 450 quid, that is going with me to bed. <laughs> to, yeah. to the office. To the, yeah, I'm going to wear it on Zwift. I'm going to, I'm going to Everest in it. Oh, um, tremendous. But, uh, and so how but long yeah, do you think, I'm really looking forward to it. How long do you think it will take for you to do, the, um, to do it, to complete it? So I think that the, the actual selection test for the SAS is four hours. You have to, to pass. You have to do it in under four hours. Yep. Um, so that's what the expectation is um, in real life. Yep. I know there is no expectation within reason. If mm. you're if you're at the halfway, there's aid stops throughout the route. Yep. And if you're at the halfway point in an unaccept, unacceptable time in the eyes of the organisers, then they'll have a word in your ear. But that goes for all of the other ultras, marathons yeah, I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. If you reached halfway and you are significantly behind, yeah, yeah. yeah and you're not going to finish in any acceptable time frame, yep. um, then they will have a word with you and, you know, pin you, you down and force you off the room. <laughs> yeah. But we um, maybe should add that the people who've died, you know, were being pushed to do it in four hours and stuff like that, weren't they? Yeah, like of course that. they were. Yeah, they were, they were, they were doing it, you know, um, under, and also they have to carry in the, in the military, they have to carry a, a gun, yeah, as well. um, which in itself weighs a huge amount. So I haven't got to do any of that. Um, yeah. And, you know, but yeah, it, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good challenge. Penny Fan is the is is the biggest um, hurdle to overcome, literally, because it's a really high mountain in Wales in the Brecon yeah. Beacons. So I have to. It's 24k doesn't sound that far, but you have to run 24k up over Penny Fan, yeah. carrying 45 pounds in the backpack down the other side, turn around, and then you've got to run back up over Penny Fan again. Oh really? Um, back That's back to the start double line. Tough. Double time. It is yeah. So this is oh. up there as one of the hardest things I have ever done. I've run 100K yep. several times. I've run 50K marathons. I've run several marathons. I've done yep. Zwifting challenges. This is by far the hardest thing I've yeah. ever done. Yeah, I mean, when you did your last last ultra, you didn't even take a, a battery with you for your headlight, did you? No, I didn't. You look ultra <laughs> prepared for this one. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot my battery, and I had to latch on to some guy and, and beg him not to leave me. <laughs> um. And uh, and so you're doing this in when in July? So yeah, so the fan dance is on the sixth of July. So it's going to be. I mean, look, it's not that riveting. This is what Rob was talking about. Uh, you know, about packing a bag. Uh, you, you guys have literally sat and watched me pack a bag. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, the whole point of the video is me trying to work out because if I get this wrong, you know, it is going to be the difference between me finishing and not finishing. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to die. Yeah. Reality is it's, it's a, it's a bloody hard challenge, but if I get this wrong, if I get my hydration, especially I've bought a hydration pack, especially for this event, which I, you know, I pack on top. Um, yeah. If I get this wrong, then it will be the difference between finishing it and not finishing it. Mm, okay. So where are we? Oh yeah. We're almost there and a half. Let's um yeah. let's kick into uh, our favorite part of the Ryan's uh, too show. interested. We need to get more boring guests if we want to yeah. speak or not. Yeah. It's um I've been uh, able to literally talk to Ryan about half the things he's been um he's he's got on the go. I know. And, I know. Uh, we could we could have a like, we could do a three hour episode next time. Can I mention really quickly, can I just do a, a shameless plug? I've sure. bought <laughs> absolutely I've, well. I've bought a bike in real life. I just want to say Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not gonna mention what bike it is because I'm gonna make a video. But yeah, what I'm bike actually, it is. Oh, yeah, you've got one bike. Oh, there it is. Oh, bike. no, you're a real but, road bike. Um, a bike with two one. wheels. Yeah. You're talking about an in, in real life road bike. In real life road bike. Um, it's actually a gravel bike I've bought. I'm going to, oh. I'm going to, I'll put that out there. I don't mind oh, saying okay. that. But yeah. the only reason I've gone for a gravel bike is I've got two teenage daughters. Yep. They don't run with me. They won't use Zwift. So I'm hoping I can get them out on the trails on, uh, yeah, okay. on a bike. Yep. There's a lot of B roads around where I bike. live. Have they got their own yeah. bikes? Yes, one of them. My oldest has one that looks like Mary Poppins' bike with a <laughs> with a basket on the front, and my other one's got a mountain on bike. Handlebars? Yeah, she's got all that. Um, so we're gonna have to get her a decent. Oh, one. so you're gonna do an unboxing video or something? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. Yeah, I'm gonna make Ooh. it. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it a uh, an unveiling of some Ooh, kind. I'm not okay. sure yet. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm oh, excited about it. You have a bike event that you're gonna do with it? Right? Have you? I've got London to Brighton in June. Yeah. So, and, and London to Brighton, I know for almost, well, everyone 
who watches this show and everyone that's yep. in the chat, London to Brighton is just a day out. I know for you guys, um, you do it in your what's, sleep. But what's the distance? So it's London to Brighton is sixty miles, um, and yeah, it goes from London to Brighton. So I think there is there's a hill towards the end, the last third, um, which I which is the famous one that everyone goes on about. Yeah. So it, that's quite steep. So I'm looking forward to that because I actually quite oh, like funny. climbing. Yeah, other than the outing I had a few years ago on a bike where I cycled for um, a short time, I haven't ridden a bike since I was 18. So the only yeah. bike I've ridden is a Swift bike. Um, so I'm hoping I haven't lost all of my inner ear balance Your and I don't out, fall off at the outdoor riding abilities. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping I don't pull up at a set of traffic lights for, forget to unclip my yeah. shoes Everyone's um, done that. and then, and then just, you know, yep. fall off. <laughs> I had a, um, uh, just very quickly. I had a, my best mate, uh, he was out riding. I wasn't with him at the time, but he had pulled up to a, on a very popular stretch in Melbourne, uh, beach road. And I think he'd pulled up yeah. to a set of lights. And there was a, a ute or a utility car uh, full of uh, tradies uh, sitting next to him. And he couldn't unclip out of his, his cleats and just fell over on the road. And, yeah, much uh, to their laughter and uh, ribbing, he uh, yeah, had to get back tradies. up. And, sorry? A ute with tradies. What on earth are you talking about, man? We're butchering our language. A ute <laughs> I, know, with I know what a ute is. I've heard of a ute before. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's an open back truck. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. Yeah, uh, with tradesmen yeah. in there. So uh, they're all. Yeah. They're have, not, you not, uh, have you not watched Neighbours, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about in real life bikes because yep. this is you know useful stuff for me. But you mentioned about um, the balance yeah. during co uh, lockdown. Um, yeah. What was that you was, so, you was talking about? So I've been doing. Uh, I've done a whole bunch of, of different rides outdoors, mountains, and that kind of thing. But during COVID, though, we were sort of locked up in, indoors, and we had a restriction of about five kilometers. I think you couldn't go. You couldn't ride further away from your home than five kilometers. So we were just inside riding on, on trainers for like a year and a half or two years. And um, and I eventually got outside, put put the bike off the trainer, got outside and had lost, or not had lost, but certainly all my stabilizing muscles around my hips and my knees and just my balance. And I felt like a you know an old man getting on a bike for the first time at 75. Yeah. It's like, I was like, oh, I just... You know, going around corners and everything was everything <laughs> seemed bigger and more uh, dangerous than I remember it. And I've you know yeah. I've downhilled at 100 k's an hour, and so super tight. Why are you going down a hill at 100 k's an hour? Because you can. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next never next episode I'll tell you about. Um, there's a an Audax in um in the in our mountain area, and um yeah I was again we we're descending off Mount Buffalo for anyone who knows Melbourne. And uh, we almost uh, we, we almost died like three times, <laughs> just overshooting corners and hairpins. Yeah, so I I used to ride everywhere when I was a teenager, as most teenagers do who lived in London, especially. It was the only way to get around, so I cycled everywhere. Um, but then I obviously I grew up and I didn't cycle anywhere ever again because yep. I you know I learned to drive. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, then but you know I yeah, so I'm looking forward to it from a challenge perspective. Yes. in my yeah. head. London to Brighton is up there as a big, yeah. big challenge. And I, it, it always cracks me up because when I tell this to people uh, that, that that are cyclists, they yeah. see it as a as a fun day out yeah, you know, charity yeah. event. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's yeah, still a long way, you know, crazy. 60 you miles. You people who don't, I bet you, you, you know, you're speaking to somebody you worked with five years ago and you said you've got to bike 60 miles, they'd, yeah. they'd fall off the chairs. Yeah. Fall yeah. off the, the, the yeah. The seat at the pub, more likely. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, That's it's, right. it's a, in my in my head, it's a different challenge because yeah. it's not about the distance for me. It's and I don't I don't mean that in a overconfident way, in an arrogant way, but it's no. more for me about the technical aspect. So the it's handling, the, the bike handling, it's the handling, yeah. it's the cycling in traffic. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping there's not a, a lot of it because I know there are some closed roads. Yeah. Um, and there's just having but, yeah. other bike riders around you passing you, you're passing other riders. Yeah, and unpredictability of what other riders can do. Especially if they're tired yeah, too, so exactly. And I'm, yeah. you know, trying to sprint someone called Deirdre, who's on a, who's on a <laughs> Mary Poppins bike up, up a, up a hill. You know, it's gonna be yeah, fun. Yeah, Stay in someone's draft. Janet's putting the screws to you as the up the climb, and yeah, that's you're it. Trying, you're gonna hang on, yeah. <laughs> the night before I went up Von Two, I, I freaked myself out on the internet, similar to you with the freaking yourself out with the, yeah, the, the, the path. I stayed up till like I must have been like three a.m. and it was like went down a rabbit hole of do not attempt Mont Ventoux unless you're experienced at dealing with switchbacks <laughs> downhill. And I was like, what? I'll just what use mean? the brakes. 
I just, really, I, yeah. And I, I just completely freaked out and nearly didn't go because of all these warnings, like, do not attempt it. Yeah, and then yeah, I went yeah, down. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, just use the brakes and just go yeah. a bit yeah. slower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Yeah, no, just yeah. chill out. Yeah, have, have, a, have a bit of fun. So that's it. Um, we've hit uh, the end of another episode. Uh, next week, episode 46, as I mentioned before, we've got Maddie LaRoe, who was the winner, um, the winner of the ladies' uh, competition from Zwift Academy 2023. Uh, she'll be joining us next week, which is going to be fantastic. Um, Rob, while I bring up that uh, that little promo for next week, do you want to uh, start closing us out? And uh... Yeah, I'd just like to thank Ryan. He's the most magnificent guest. I could talk to him. Well, I literally have talked to him for hours, but I could talk to him for days, I think. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we've chatted quite a lot, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it was absolutely fascinating. And... Uh, yeah. Over 100,000 yeah, people started this Rift Academy, and we're down to just six. Three men and three women. And they'll be here with two of the biggest teams in the men's and women's world. <laughs> I have to say it, it, this is the best level that I saw the last three to four years. Because I've had people in my life saying that oh, you don't have what it takes. That was like a knife to the heart about who crosses the line in the fastest possible time. Congratulations. And uh, welcome to the team. Yep, so there we go. Sorry about that. I didn't expect that to kick up there, but uh, yes, that's going to be Maddie. Um, so, Rob, you're saying the thanking Ryan? Yeah, well, I'll thank him again. Yeah, <laughs> magnificent. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just so heartwarming to watch his channel. I just like watching someone get the first win. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know I've like, uh, me and my teammates have tried to help him and uh, I suppose some people think it's like to get views or something but just the joy of watching someone get their first win is just yeah. magnificent and just seeing the progress so oh, you, yeah, you if guys, you haven't already yeah. then, I mean I'm sure everyone is subscribed already you guys are awesome yeah, if anyone hasn't watched yeah. it already I highly recommend watching the epic race video I made where yeah. uh, Rob and his entire crew um, <laughs> came and helped me it was awesome that, was, I, that will be up there it was one of the fun. best experiences I've ever had so yeah, let's do it again sometime. Team Kaboom. Um, Ryan's channel at Ryan Condon is in the description below, so you can definitely go and find his channel if you haven't already. Um, as I said, he's got some fantastic videos there, um, really enjoyable, really engaging, and uh, really lots of fun to watch. So go and uh, do yourself a favor and uh, check them out. Um, so uh, Rob, thank you very much uh, as always. Um, it's wonderful talking to you. Talking to you. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment. Even if you don't like the video, uh, hit the down like button. What's the down like button? That's the down thumb button. It no, all, don't. It all, no. It no, it all helps. It all helps. Don't. It all helps. Hit thumbs up. Um, no, don't. Thumbs up. Piss off. Leave, Do uh, something. <laughs> leave us a comment um, and uh, we'll definitely uh, reply to all the comments that are left. So thanks for watching. And remember, keep pushing. You matter. Stay in the drops. We love you. Bye.